Hi class, I'm Dr. Scott Adamson, and welcome to the second video related to improper integrals, specifically the improper integral from one to infinity of one over x to a power greater than one. So we did some work previously with Desmos and on the board just to show a pattern, and it appeared that the pattern was this. The integral from one to infinity of one over x to the p was one over that power subtract one. Now I'm putting question marks here because we wanna confirm that more rigorously than just seeing a pattern of a few inst instances of it happening. Let's prove this more generally. So the way it worked was this. Let's follow the same routine that we saw before. The routine was this. We're first gonna use good mathematical notation in indicating that we're gonna do a limit to infinity. So instead of integrating from one to infinity, we'll integrate from one to t, and of course t is going off to infinity. And then the thing that you've seen uh, in the previous video is this algebraic um, step of saying one over x to the p is the same as saying p, uh, x to the negative p power. And the reason we make that move is it's just easier to make the integral, the antiderivative, work out when we think of it this way, possibly. Let's do that. Limit as t goes to infinity. Now, the antiderivative of x to the minus p. As you've seen, when we take the derivative, we decrease the power by 1. So now we're going to increase the power by 1. So we'll get x to the negative p plus 1. Now, when you take the derivative, that exponent comes out front, but notice it did not survive that differentiation process, so we had to do something here, have a factor to eliminate that, and it was, uh, it was 1 over negative p plus 1. And then we evaluate that from 1 to t. Now let's just do some algebraic work here in hopes of making our efforts here a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is just write this as a single fraction. We're going to say x to the negative p plus 1 divided by negative p plus 1. Evaluate this from 1 to t. Don't forget that fundamental theorem is still going to be coming in. But first, let's make one more algebraic move here. Let's say limit as t goes to infinity. Now, x to the negative p plus 1. There's some rules of exponents that we can apply here and say this. It's the same as saying x to the negative p times x to the 1. Now, why would this be helpful? To have these two factors here, x to a power times x to a power, is the same as x to the sum of those two powers. But as you'll see, when we work on our fundamental theorem, it's going to be a little bit neater to think of it as we see here. Let's go ahead and apply the fundamental theorem right now. Fundamental theorem of calculus, we're first going to substitute an AT for x. So we'll have t to the negative p times t over negative p plus 1 minus, plug a 1 in for x. We'll have a 1 to the negative p times 1 all over negative p plus 1. Now, let's just work this out, some algebra here to make things a little bit nicer. Remember, t is going off to infinity. This first term, this t to the negative p, let's put it in the denominator. It'll just make this limiting process a little bit cleaner. So t to the negative p is equivalent to saying t to the p times negative p plus 1. And then, kind of likewise over here, if we put that 1 to the p in the denominator, now 1 to the p, remember p is a, we're doing integers greater than 1, so 1 to a power is just 1, so this is going to become 1 over 1 to the p, which is just 1, negative p plus 1. Now, as t goes off to infinity, Here's where this thing, we've seen it in the examples over and over again, but here's where we have to think a little bit more generally. As t goes off to infinity, the numerator is going off to infinity, the denominator is going off to infinity, but the denominator is going off to infinity exponentially faster than the numerator. 
So you might have to do some work here to, to convince yourself that as T gets bigger and bigger and bigger, let's say like 10, 10 over 10 to the fourth, 100 over 100 to the fourth, a million over a million to the fourth. The denominator is getting bigger, faster than the numerator, making this whole fraction approach zero. So as T goes to infinity, this fraction approaches zero minus one over negative P plus one. Now let's just clean this up just a little bit. Since it's zero minus, it's really a negative one over negative P plus one. And we can algebraically apply the negative to the numerator or the denominator. Let's apply it to the denominator. Let's say one over negative, negative P plus one. Now I hope you can see it. If you distribute that negative sign, the denominator becomes positive P minus one. So this final result is one over P minus one, as we predicted, as we saw in the previous video. Hey, thanks for watching us today. Click on the next video to learn even more about calculus and click on the Advantage logo to subscribe. I'll see you soon.